Assalamualaikum Dear students I hope that all of you are well all of you stay at home and stay safe I expect that you have done all of the works all of the maths at your home and you will make your sense complete dear students today i will discuss a maths about modiglian and millers with no taxes and then i will discuss about modiglian and miller theory with texas okay dear students all of you know who i am i am mohammad samad khan lecturer department of accounting dhaka college dhaka so let's start our class start our today's class so we see a question in the whiteboard what is written down here just x limited and y limited are two different constants and both of them have equal net operating income or evit earning before interest and taxes okay so it is here it is 1 lakh 20000 taka then weighted average cost of capital or overall cost of capital is 10% has given and then x limited has got no debt why y limited has got a 5% debt of taka 6 lakh i mean here x is unlevered company then y is levered company so you know already we learned that uh with no taxes value of levered equal value of unlevered company okay so here we should bring out this uh, uh things elements first of all is first one is total value of the both of the firms i mean here you have to find out the value of the x and value of y value of x firms and value of y firms then total market value of both shares i mean you have to uh, bring out the total market uh, value of the shares what are the value of the x shares and what is the value of the y shares okay then uh, cost of equity of the both of the firms cost of equity you should bring out i mean you should bring out uh, for unlevered company and and for levered company cost of equity so uh, it should vary uh, be, it should vary between a uh, levered company of a uh, uh, levered company cost of equity and unlevered company cost of equity then for number is weighted average cost of capital or overall cost of capital of both of the firms so here we should bring out four things four elements uh from this math so let's try how to bring out this uh elements from this question dear students we uh, i already said that here hello one hello of levered company equal value of unlevered company previous in the previous class we have already uh, discussed that what are the assumptions of the uh, miller mm mm approach uh, mm approach so on that time we already said that bl i mean value of levered equal value of unlevered so here uh, what is the value of unlevered so we should bring out what is the value of unlevered here cost of
cost of equity x here value of x equal Okay, so here value of x equal net operating income or EBIT uh, divided K O or K cost of equity unlevered. Okay, say here uh, EBIT or net operating income is one lakh twenty thousand taka. Then it is over cost of capital is here is ten. For unlevered, we already know that for unlevered company here, for unlevered company here, uh, Q equal KEU, right? I, I mean, for unlevered company, cost of equity equal to cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital, okay? So, here, KU or KEU, uh, we should uh, call this. So, here, uh, 12 lakh, 12 lakh taka value of x. I mean, value of unlevered company is 12 lakh taka. So, value of levered company, I mean, value of y equal 12 lakh taka. Okay, so uh, we already uh, brought this one, which is total value of the firms. I mean, uh, value of X is 12 lakh taka, 12 lakh taka and value of Y is 12 lakh taka. So, total market value of both shares, total market value of both shares here, 2, 2, 2 uh, is first one is market, market value of, market value of shares X, shares X. Uh, X limited has no debt. X limited has no X limited has no debt. So market value of shares X is equal to uh, sorry uh, equal value minus uh, debt. Value of the firm minus debt. So value of the firm is 12 lakh taka minus debt is zero. So 12 lakh taka. Okay. Then B market value of shares of Y equal twelve lakh taka minus six lakh taka. I mean total value of the firm and total debt of Y. So shares, the price of uh, or the market value of the shares of Y is equal six lakh taka. Okay, so. We already brought that one and two completed, then three cost of equity uh, of uh, both of the firms. Okay, so we should bring out the cost of equity, cost of equity, uh, hey, Kaka. so. K, K E is uh, K E of X equal K E X equal N O I or E B I T divided value of the firm into 100. So 120 value of firm into 100 so it is cost of equity x equal 10 percent
okay? Then, cost of equity, cost of equity Y. So, it is levered uh, company. So, uh, for this levered company, we know that KEX plus KEX minus KD into D by S. So, here KEX is 10% plus KEX 10% minus 5% uh, uh, where is 5% 5% into D I mean a debt 6 lakh then S is 6 lakh ok so 10% plus 5% into 1 so it is called 15% ok so, uh, cost of equity of unlevered, I mean X company is, uh, is EVIT or NY divided value of the firm is equal to 10% that cost of equity of levered company, I mean Y, is cost of equity X plus cost of equity X minus KD into D by S. So, here uh, we already uh, seen this, what is happening here. So, cost of equity levered is greater than cost of equity unlevered, okay? Cost of equity is uh, levered is greater than cost of equity unlevered. So, it is completed. Dear students, then we should bring out the last of one is uh, weighted average cost of capital. Weighted average cost of capital. So, weighted average uh, cost of capital uh, uh, then we should bring out for the first one is uh, w a c c for x equal s by v into k plus d by v into k d so, uh, weighted average cost of capital uh, here is 12 lakh, then value of the firm 12 lakh, cost of equity, cost of equity is 10% plus D zero, then twelve lakh into KD five percent. So here one into ten percent plus zero into five percent. Okay, so one into ten percent is ten percent, then zero into five percent is zero. So it is zero okay so it is 10 percent okay so weighted reverse cost of capital of uh, of x i mean of unlevered company overall cost of capital for unlevered company is 10 percent and for levered company for levered company uh, i mean cost of uh, overall cost of capital of levered company equal as divided V into cost of equity X cost of equity X plus D by divided V into KD Okay, so S uh, is here, S is 6 lakh, then 12 lakh into 10% plus 6 lakh divided 12 lakh into 5%, PD is 5%, okay? So, here, 6 lakh and 12 lakh is half into 
प्लस सिक्स लाख एंड ट्वेल्व लाख इज हाफ इंटू फाइव परसेंट सो इट इज फाइव परसेंट प्लस टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट dear students sorry uh, for this in con con convenience here is a uh, cost of equity of y cost of equity of y is 15% is 15% we should use a, a levered company so why we why we use unlevered company cost of equity so here is 15% it is totally wrong so here 6 lakh 12 half into 15% plus half into 5% okay so here is 7.5% plus 2.5% so it is 10% so there is no difference between the overall cost of capital so cost of capital of x i mean unlevered company is 10% and and cost of capital of levered company is 10% so to both of the both of are equal so we already learned this uh, and we uh, uh, brought this all of this are brought out okay dear students at present we are discuss about mm hypothesis with corporate taxes you know uh, uh, many assumptions are followed by the mm hypothesis but uh, in uh, corporate taxes without taxes in this method without taxes all of things are all of the assumptions are okay except corporate taxes so here the assumptions one is uh, adapted one is uh, uh, added that is that is a uh, corporate taxes added so we just uh, whenever we solve this math in various ways just we add a uh, tax deducted okay so let's see what is happening in the proposition 1 and proposition 2 of in the uh, mm hypothesis with taxes okay dear student dear student according to mm hypothesis with taxes then value of levered equal value of unlevered plus dt or tax deducted okay so here whenever we are added tax deducted with bill of unlevered then we uh, get the bill of levered form okay so bill uh, of unlevered what is the bill of unlevered bill of unlevered equal n o i r e v i t divided q or K E U. I mean cost of equity unlevered into one minus tax rate into one minus tax rate. Ah, uh, it is bill of unlevered. Then bill of levered equal N O I into one minus tax rate divided Q or K E U plus T D. 
where td is td is text directed td is text directed i mean i mean t duple that into x ray tr td equal that into x ray okay the students let's we write down a question then analyze this proposition okay it is the first proposition according to mm hypothesis with texts okay so just particulars it is Levered company, unlevered company. Okay, so first one is common share. Common share is sixty percent. Then unlevered is hundred percent because all of the shares are equity shares. So it is hundred percent. Then Ten percent debt is two lakh. Then cost of equity is twelve point five percent. Then tax rate is forty percent. tax rate is 40% okay so we should bring out the value of unlevered okay so value of unlevered equal okay here uh, sorry one is missing i think evit Or N Y equal both of the firms belong or get seventy five thousand taka. Okay, okay, seventy five thousand taka. Okay, then value of unlevered equal N O I divided K E U. Right. I mean we already say that. K O or K E U. I mean, uh, twelve point five percent K E U or Q. Okay, so N O I into one minus tax rate. Okay, so N O I seventy five thousand taka then one minus tax rate divided K E O. I mean, twelve point five zero percent. So we use the greater So it is 360000 taka so it is below of unlevered So value of levered is value of levered firm is N O I into one minus tax rate divided uh, K E U or K O plus T D tax deducted. Okay, so here is. Bill of unlevered, bill of levered, tax deducted. So uh, here, 
all of things are equal, 360,000 taka plus TD, I mean TD is here, TD is, say TD, uh, TD equal 2 lakh into 40 percent, okay, so 2 lakh 40 percent is 80,000 taka, okay, so here is 80,000 taka, okay, so it is 440, 4 lakh 40,000 taka. So, value of Liberty compound is 4 lakh 40,000 taka. It is proposition 1. It is proposition 1. Okay. Then, so students, in the proposition 2, we should bring out the CAL, I mean cost of equity Liberty firm and the cost of overall cost of capital of Liberty firm. Okay. So, uh, cost of equity levered, cost of equity levered equal cost of equity unlevered plus risk premium. Already we know this risk premium. So it is uh, finding another way that cost of equity plus unlevered plus cost of equity unlevered minus cost of debt into 1 minus tax rate into D divided S. Okay? D divided S. So, cost of equity unlevered plus cost of equity unlevered minus cost of debt into 1 minus tax rate into D by S. So, here cost of equity unlevered is 12.50% plus cost of equity unlevered 12.50% minus KD is 10% KD is 10% then 1 minus tax rate is 40% okay then D is 2 lakh and S is S is 2 lakh 40,000 taka. Okay, so S is total value of the firm. Total value of the firm is 4 lakh 40,000 taka minus D, I mean debt equal 2 lakh taka. So uh, it is multiple of S, it is 2 lakh 40,000 taka. Okay, so here. We should bring out this, I mean, 2.5 into 0 0.6, 1.5 into 1.25 so it is total 2 uh, 12.50 percent uh, plus 1.25 percent so it is 13.75 percent i mean cost of equity of levered company is 13.75 percent okay so, uh, whenever we use uh, the MM model with uh, taxes, uh, MM hypothesis with taxes, we should add, just add more these things. We just add more these, more these things. 1 minus tax rate, uh, KEO, I mean cost of equity unlevered plus cost of equity unlevered minus cost of debt into 1 minus tax rate into D divided S. Okay, so dear students, uh, always just, uh, always just, I mean hypothesis with tax rate, just we add 1 minus tax rate with, uh, after the KD, right? After the KD, just uh, mind it, okay? The student, then we should uh, bring out the overall cost of capital overall cost of capital okay overall cost of capital equal s divided b into ke 
L plus D divided B into D divided B into KD KE and KD into 1 minus tax rate okay into 1 minus tax rate okay so we already found in this map that S is 240 okay then value of the farm is 440 into cost of equity levered uh, is 13.75 percent plus d i mean d is 2 lakh then v equal 4 lakh 40 thousand taka into kd is 10 percent into 1 minus tax rate is 40 percent okay so just we calculate this 240,000 divided four forty into thirteen point seven five seven point five percent plus plus ten percent into point six into two point seven two seven okay okay then two point seven two seven plus seven point five equal ten point two two seven ten point two two seven percent so it is the percent or it is the expenditure of capital overall cost of capital of with taxes so there is students i think what are the difference between the miller's approach miller's uh, proposition between no taxes and with taxes okay dear students if you have any query about this math about this problem or mm hypothesis or mm approach mm model then you will uh, submit